Welcome back, everyone. We are straight into game with Super Rejects going up against Casca's Angels. Both of these teams are on the bubble. This series is ultra important for both of them if they want to have any chance of qualifying. Yep, and most certainly will be an exciting match. We can see the Twitch poll now live. Looks like Super Rejects are your favorites for today. What, there's no love for Dilly? Does nobody out there love Dilly? I need more hashtag KA. There's 28 percent. Would it be nobody? I need more. 30 percent of people that have love for Dilly in this matchup. Envious though, going to be taking a whole bunch of pressure very early on. Casca's Angels looking to get aggressive with the trap on Nicolo. Are they going to be able to force the, the bubble coming in from Envious right away? It looks like Cy Fox is going to get life grip to safety by Milkman. Nicely done using that Archangel to sort of deflect some of this incoming damage from the Super Rejects. Ooh, Chaos Bolt flying towards Dilly. Envious and Thugonomics also di dipping low. Colo recovering now though with a huge healing wave. Bursting shot, no freezing trap just yet. Envious is crucial. Crusade is starting to max out. Potentially massive damage here shortly. Chaos Bolt's being casted by Thugonomics. Dilly trying to hide behind the pillar, but one does go straight to the face. Thugonomics not able to find a second, however, which means Dilly should be able to recover. Mana starting to build the lead for Colo. The damage from Envious and Thugonomics is massive with Dilly and Ty Fox is both below half. Survival Instincts gets traded out. Dilly's trying to move across the map, but if he pushes too far at the wrong time, Envious and a Chaos Bolt could catch his face. Thugonomics looking for one with Soul Harvest. This next Chaos Bolt from Thugonomics could be massive. Cy Foxy delays it by a few seconds, but Soul Harvest is still activated. If Thugonomics can get a Chaos Bolt off, it will be devastating. He's not able to find it, though. Now Envious is on the back foot. Yeah, almost bubble getting forced out there. Cola doing a good job with the heals, has the ascendants after spamming out the healing ways. Actually, he's dogpiling with his team, making sure Envious and Thugonomics are there to support Dilly. In the meantime, in the middle of the map, Chaos Bolt hits by Thugonomics. Milkman already down to around 50% mana. So obviously the pressure coming in from Super Rejects is super high. You can see Milkman taking a very defensive position, doesn't want to push in for any fears or anything like that. Just tr trying to keep his team stable so they can stay aggressive. All right, Thugonomics just lobbing out more Chaos Bolts. Envious going after Dilly, actually using the Hammer of Justice defensively. Milkman positioned very far away. Difficult for Envious to get there to Hammer of Justice and get back to the target. So instead, Hammer of Justice gets dispelled and costs mana. And ultimately, that's what they're trying to win off of is running Milkman out of mana. Double Mortal Coil Chaos Bolts being casted by Thugonomics straight for Cy Foxy. He ducks into bear form, trying to soak up some of the pressure. Dilly building up more counter aggression. Colo in the middle of the map. He's very susceptible to crowd control with where he's positioned right now. He's way too close to Cy Foxy. Cy Foxy moving over for the stun. Now, but what? he's just going to die. I guess Danny in the middle of the map is okay when you've got Thugonomics on your team. He just <laughs> needs the damage to find the kill. Four minute cooldown. Uh, but at the same time, when they do that, I mean, just look at Thugonomics. He's basically forcing uh, the team of Casca's Angels to go on him because he is standing in the middle of the map, just spamming fears onto everybody and then when he does get those big chaos bolts connecting uh, I mean that uh, when he doesn't have the dispel things like that I think that they should play more aggressive and even just target down the Warlock's pet. If they can kill the Imp, it can't dispel if it's dead. And Thugonomics has to spend an extended amount of time trying to get it back. And as destruction, you don't have portals, so you're stuck in one spot. It's not like he's going to sneak away and resummon the Imp. So I, I think if Casca's Angels can focus more damage, maybe not even cleave on the red, just hit the pet and the Warlock, single target the Warlock, uh, they could potentially sneak away with this. Because there's no counter spell, Milkman can free cast, which means he can do a lot of damage. He's going to get every smite, every penance, every Light's Wrath, without having to worry about getting interrupted. So I would like to see Casca's Angels take a page out of Reform's book, I think, in this matchup and just get aggressive. Yeah, get very aggressive on that pet. Force Thugonomics sort of into a defensive position. Envious going to be the target of choice very early on. Thugonomics looking for the Chaos Bolt. Dilly ducks out of line of sight, though. There's a full bash on Nicole. He's playing the Relentless, so all the CC is going to be a little bit reduced on him. Busca Sanctuary forced out by Envious as well. In the meantime, Cy Foxy taking a little bit of damage here. Polo into the Bursting Shot, but now finally out of that crowd control. Should be able to stabilize Envious. All right, Dilly's just taking a lot of damage. Thugonomics lining up a Chaos Bolt off the back of the Mortal Coil. Gets silenced right at the last second. The Dispel from Envious, one second, two off and Thugonomics does not connect the burst. He is now falling behind. He's trying to banish the Shadow Fiend there, prevent some mana regeneration as Super Rejects are looking to just attrition their opponents. Colo standing on top of the team to try and soak up a trap, maybe get a bursting shot to remove the bleeds, but nice. Dilly snipes the bursting shot without hitting the DPS targets. Unfortunately, now it does follow it up with the full trap, but Imp dispels Colo out of that, completely breaking up the chain. And now Cy Fox is overextended. Thugonomics is just waiting to line up the Chaos Bolt, moving over to potentially fear Milkman. Milkman ducks out a line of sight to avoid it. Good avoidance from Milkman, but mana inevitably, I think, in favor of Super Rejects. 
Yep, Envy is still at 50% HP. Colo looking for the heals. Milkman actually in a position to maybe go for a fear. Look at him. He's very close to Colo. He could use that pillar, but just wants to keep the heals up. Doesn't want to fall behind as Cy Foxy gets lower and lower with the full fear onto Dilly. Archangel gets traded out by Milkman, trying to top off his team, but Cy Foxy runs out of line of sight. Now forced into bear form, forced to retreat behind the pillar. Looking to get aggressive now, but Thugonomics instantly shuts it down with the double chaos bolt. Now Dilly almost getting one shot, ultimately does get one okay. shot taken down. Tries to push in for the trap and just gets punched. And uh, he's going to connect that and take about half of Dilly's health away. And then Envy is going to have an easy time finishing Dilly off. And we can take a look at it right here. So there's Cy Foxy using his kick. So that's going to be on cooldown right now. Cy Foxy is going to line off side a little bit here. And uh, he's going to get topped off. Dilly pushes in. Trinkets the mortal coil right there. And then there it is. Mame as the Chaos Bolt goes, goes off. And then Envy is, of course, with that Hammer of Justice is going Cross to... Cross crowd control the red switched over to Wyvern Sting. Regardless, Casca's Angels need to change their strategy, and it's going to be a risky thing to do because ultimately they're on match point, and they're not going to be going to the Summer Finals if they lose this. Yeah, this is a super important series for Super Rejects. Looking to close this series out 3-0. to zero. Casca's Angels, Tournament Live, and Summer Finals hopes and dreams on the line as well as they charge forward. Dilly going to be looking for that Wyvern Sting onto Envious right away, procking that Ret Trinket. There's a full trap onto Colo as they put most of the pressure over on the Thugonomics, but he should be able to survive very tanky is that Duster Warlock. Oh, Chaos Bolt in the Hammer of Justice. Milkman life gripping Dilly back to the pillar. Envious in hot pursuit. He's got the Crusade rolling. He's building his damage. He's going to be maxing out at 50% increased damage towards the end of this. Colo getting swapped to as Casca's Angels try to make a miracle swap to the healer. They catch him in the middle of the map trying to punish that positioning. At least somewhat of an adaptation. They managed to get the Astral Shift. Potentially a swap back to him later on. Could net them a kill. Yep, yeah, that was the Incarnation and the True Shot Aura so that's a lot of damage that they used to try to take Colo down. Ultimately, will survive. Envious Cells, Blessing Protection Cells, a lot of defensive. Thugonomics uses his uh, Dark Soul to try to get a little bit of pressure here, spamming out the fears, looking for a Chaos Bolt once again onto Dilly. And one thing I noticed is Milkman, he's actually playing the Knock Talent, so he doesn't have the short fear, and that's maybe one of the reasons why he doesn't want to push in, because his fear is such a long cooldown. All right, Colo getting dispelled to the stun by Envious. Colo's struggling a lot more. He used his Spirit Link Totem at, at what point? Colo doesn't actually have any defense of cooldowns if they can somehow get on top of him land a triple fear this might be the winning strategy to just train down the healer milkman's still a bit reluctant though to get aggressive chaos bolt lobbed out milkman's just going to take that behind the pillar and heal that back up cy foxy building up the bleeds looking for the next stun colon needs to pre earth in this although with the positioning that he has right now dilly can't for be forced to overextend hammer of justice onto milkman he trinkets out doesn't want to fall behind colo gets stunned in the open he does have the pre earth and shield totem he should be able to easily tank this out as his entire team moves into it and casca's angels they're they're not even looking for crowd control. They're just going to do damage to everyone on the team. Nice knockback, removing the entire team from their Earth and Shield Totem. Colo now exposed. Wyvern Sting on Envious for crowd control. They're trying to lock the Red Paladin out of the game, train down the healer. At least with this strategy, the mana is somewhat equal if they can keep this up. Yeah, especially if Colo's playing the Vim Talon. Uh, unfortunately, his, heal his healing is going to be greatly reduced if he is under that 80% threshold. And maybe that's what Casca's Angels is looking to abuse because this is the first time we've seen Milkman actually have a commanding mana lead. Thugonomics looking for the Chaos Bolt once again, looking for the Fears as well. As you can see, he's now positioned very far away from Colo. Nice interrupt coming in from Dillipu as Thugonomics gets bursted down. Unending Resolve is going to be traded out. Nice knock out of the Earthen Shield Totem as well. Very nicely done by Milkman in this matchup. All right, Cy Foxy moving forward. Lanny, a bash. Dilly looking for some aimed shots. Unfortunately, the waterfall coming down at a bit of an unfortunate time. Now Cy Foxy getting Hammer of Justice far away, but Milkman able to dispel. Cy Foxy jumping in bare form, trying to retreat away. Wyvern Sting getting removed. Cy Foxy still just trying to put on the aggression as Casca's Angels are relying on raw damage to carry this fight for them. They've still got a slight mana lead. They're swapping back to Thugonomics, catching him into a maim. And with this only damage strategy, it seems to be working out. Colo gets caught into the stun. He gets busting up protection to remove all those bleeds. But now Thugonomics doesn't have that available for him as they switch back. And Casca's Angels are showing signs of life. Yeah, Cola drops the Earthen Shield, showed him to keep Thugonomics alive. Dilly Poo looking to get aggressive with the True Shot Aura. You know, he's in a very defensive position here with Milkman, but able to get off the damage that he needs. Cy Foxy uses his survival instincts. Nice cap stun coming in from Cola, but Cola's running on fumes for mana. Almost going to be completely oomed before we even move into dampening. Thugonomics still looking for the Chaos Bolts, but Cy Foxy and Dilly have been doing such a good job shutting it down in this matchup. 
matchup. All right, good Wyvern Sting there on the Envious. He's going to be locked out of the game for quite some time while Colo is in a desperation situation trading out the Astral Shift, but prior to the incarnation of Cyfoxy, as soon as that incarnation gets pulled by Cyfoxy, it's going to be doing devastating amounts of damage. Ten seconds away from the Spirit Link of Colo. He's trying to recover, gets bashed up. Cyfoxy, are you going to pull the Incarn cooldown? No, he's trying to bait more cooldowns before going for it. True Shot not available, though. Dilly needs to just crowd control the team and support Cyfoxy to keep him aggressive during these final potential moments with Incarnation. Yeah, Colo actually able to stabilize his team for the most part, but that was, uh, you know, his healing cooldowns. Cole still rotting down low, still not doing great on mana. Thugonomics looking for the Chaos Bolt, lands it on Cyfoxy. Milkman deflecting, still has the Pain Suppression available as well. Incarnation's gonna be up for Cyfoxy if he decides to pull the trigger on that. At some point, Cascas Angels is gonna look to get super aggressive. Thugonomics now popping his Dark Soul, looking for a little bit of extra damage himself, but Milkman in a very good position to spam out the heals over and over and over. Nice knock. Big swap over on Colo now. So he gets knocked out of his Earth and Shield Totem. Dilly just teeing off with the aim shots over and over and over. Rot pressure coming from Cyfoxy on all three members of Super Rejects. I mean, look at the mana. It's basically gonna run on fumes for both sides here momentarily. We're not even into dampening. So the game is easily gonna end in the next couple of seconds. Colo gets interrupted. He's got Spirit Link Totem, but he gets stuck up he's relentless he can't get out cross crowd control and envious to deny the sanctuary colo in trouble ducks down below mortal coil from duncan office cast pulled onto dilly he's in trouble it's match point for casca's angels they don't want to throw this away they have a decent amount of momentum they need to keep it up hammer of justice on side foxy chaos bolt's being lobbed out i would love to see milkman push forward and land a psychic scream close this game out because if they don't now he is tapped on mana side foxy moves in trap on envious colo gets stunned up with no trigger he's got all defensive cooldowns so he doesn't want to throw this away trades out the astral shift that's going to allow him to recover side foxy he switches targets. It's a race to the finish. Colo's on fumes. Milkman's on fumes. Dilly's out in the open. A Chaos Bolt being channeled. Tugnar's trying to fake cast the interrupts. Trying to sneak that one through. Cyfoxy gets Hammer of Justice. Dispelled out. Knocked out of the Earth and Shield Totem. Tugnar's exposed for four more seconds. But no crowd control for Colo. Spamming out the healing waves. Both healers now completely tapped as we just enter Dampening. Yeah, Milkman could have had an opportunity to push in and land a fear. There was no blessing of Sanctuary. Still the available. Trap. He might be able to push in. Tugnar's unending resolve. Maybe too late. Dilly's still looking for the aim shop. Tugnar's at man is to dick or d duck out of line of sight. He does have the Spirit Link Totem available from Colo if he does get out of Lights the control. Lights Wrath gonna be connecting, putting up big pressure on the Thugonomics as well as he looks for the Drain so Life to keep himself up. But another nice knock coming in from Milkman as both healers are completely tapped. The knockbacks are sick this game from Casca's Angels. It's removing all the defensive cooldowns from the Super Rejects, but still both teams are completely tapped as anyone's game. Envious getting crowd controlled forever by Dilly. Doing a great job. The Fear on the Trinket. Good offensive play from Milkman. They need just a little bit more damage to put Thugonomics over the edge. He's dipping low. Colo spamming out healing waves. No interrupt for that. He's going to connect to Dilly using Aspect of the Surly. He knocks Thugonomics to the side looking to go after Colo. Colo ducks behind the pillar. Earth and Shield Totem protecting him. Is there a knockback for Colo? They need to get him out of this totem. Colo's actually just going to jump in. He's abandoning the pillar. They're trying to go out in the open for Thugonomics to finish this game as it's a race to the finish still at this point. I'm surprised that either team hasn't fallen with zero mana on both sides. Thugonomics pops on ending resolve with Soul Harvest. Gets bashed on the Chaos Bolt. Cyfoxy needs to avoid this Chaos Bolt. It's a big one. Chaos Bolt connects. Gets absorbed by the shields from Milkman, preempting that damage with Pain Suppression. Cyfoxy trying to lead the charge, but Crusade is up. It could be a risky time for Cyfoxy to push on match, match point. Yeah, Envious getting a little bit low as well. Milkman in a good position to keep his team alive. Powered Barry gets dropped out to stop some of this damage, but Dilly low. No aspect of the turtle available. Oh. It looks like Thugonomics looking for the damage, but a nice life group going to keep him alive for now. Nicely done by Milkman, but now Cyfoxy gets caught into the Hammer of Justice. He trinkets out Survival Instinct. Thugonomics looking to close out this game, but he gets knocked away. Milkman has been on fire in this matchup with that talent choice. Dilly forced defensive, though, and this is not a position you want to be in as Casca's Angels, as the Jungle Cleave. Envious charging in. He still has that bubble to fall back on. You can see the, uh, Cy Foxy looking for the damage on a Thugonomics, but this is super good for Super Rejects. Cola just needs to be able to survive a little bit longer. I mean, at this point, whose game is Thugonomics setting up for a kill. Double Mortal Coil, Chaos Bolt, Blood of Silence, Full Fear secured on the Milkman. Unfortunately, breaking to some damage. Cyfoxy is dangerously low. Milkman triggers out of the Hammer of the Justice. It's dangerously, it's danger time right now for both teams. Thugonomics trying to stay afloat with the unending result, but it's now over. Ferocious Bite, Earthen Shield Totem denies the kill. Thugonomics, if he gets knocked out of this Earthen Shield Totem, will explode. Chaos Bolt's being casted. Cyfoxy goes into Bear. He gets knocked out of the Totem. Dilly trying to set up. Milkman moving forward. Offensive Penance. He just needs a little bit more damage to end this. 
Bursting shot on Colo. Dilly lands a trap. Where's the Imp to spell? Imp to spell instantly by Thugonomics. Blessing of protection, though. Protects Thugonomics. Now Milkman is pushed forward. He's caught into a hammer of justice. Envious gets peeled away. I'd almost like to see Envious just divine shield to get out of this crowd control and end the game. I understand he doesn't want to throw it. Nice cap totem from Colo. Nice hex from Colo. Triple crowd control from one player, despite being trained down the entire game, opens up a win condition and takes it three to zero. Yeah, cask is angel. Wasting his hand of sanctuary and using his blessing of protection, just like right now, as you can see on Thogonomics, and uh, providing him with these tools that he needs to get off these beefy chaos bolts. And of course, Colo uh, had a phenomenal performance in this game. There was one time when he was super low and had no cooldowns, but he did some nice fakes. And there, Milkman is going to get fully hexed out of that uh, triple cap. And they've been one of the only teams outside of the Australia New Zealand region with Gronks running it. They were kind of the original team to run it in Legion, but now the move with Peekaboo and kind of the MVP NA Rogue and WizK, the ungodly Lord of Shadow, and then of course Abster drowning out that roster with solid defense on the Shaman. They've been an unstoppable force, so much so that they don't even really need to utilize Jelly Beans. I think that Jelly Beans is going to be more of a vital importance moving into the third season, which I believe is in Battle for Azeroth. So having that extra person who can play some classes that the other three don't will be very critical then. But right now, as a three-man unit, their RPS looks almost unstoppable. The only people that have been able to put up a fight are Method Orange and now Super Frogs. We're going to see the rematch of the Grand Finals here just in a moment, I believe. Yeah, and I actually heard a, a, a legend, or I heard a rumor that the move was 25 and 0 this week, practicing RPS on the ladder. So I think really, it was 30 and 0 on Peekaboo screenshot. Yeah, 30 and 0. So <laughs> obviously, doing exceptionally well. With that information in mind, who do you think is going to be winning this series? You can use the hashtag SF for Superfrogs or the hashtag MOV for the move. I'm not going to ask you guys, I'll ask when we get back from this commercial break, but it is going to be very interesting to see Super Frogs, our current North American champions, going to be dancing with the move once again in a very intense series. Will Chun Li be tagged in against the move to be the Wind Walker hero that Super Frogs need in this series? Don't go anywhere. A very exciting series when we come back.